What's up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a contact form using Elementor for free. Now this is a contact form that we're going to be creating here. Now you won't really need to download any contact form 7 or ninja form plugins. We're going to actually be using an Elementor extension and it's going to have this form all integrated and it's easily customizable. You guys are really going to enjoy this so if you guys want to learn how to make this form go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, and then go ahead and click on add new, and then go ahead and type in element pack. And then go ahead and install this one here. And then activate it. Now we just need to go to the page where we want to go ahead and add our contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and add the contact form to my home page. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my contact form right under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new section here. Sorry about that, create a new section, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just make it uh, one column. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a title here. I'm just gonna copy my title that I have um, at the bottom there. And then I'm just gonna change the name of my title. And I'm gonna call this contact us. Now you can do the same thing for your contact page, just uh, make a title for it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some spacing to this section here. I'm going to click on this section and then I'm um, going to add some padding here. So from the top, I'm going to do about 100 pixels. And from the bottom, I'll do about 100 pixels. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our contact form. So just go ahead and type in contact. And then go ahead and grab this form under here. And then just drag it right over here. And this form is called simple contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and actually um, make the width a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my section here. I'm going to go to layout and, and uh, content width. I'm just going to have it about this size here. It's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this um, widget here or this element. And then we have some options here. So we have the option to remove our labels or use our labels. So, and then you can also add a contact number field, which I'm going to definitely add that in there as well. And then we can also adjust the size of our um, fields. So we can do small and large. I'm going to leave it at large, but you can also customize that in the style. You can uh, make those bigger or smaller. And then you can also um, have the name and email right next to each other. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and have them um, right under each other. And you'll kind of see why in, later on in this video. And then you can just go ahead and center everything if you wanted to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave everything to the left because I think that looks a lot more clean. And then over here we have our submit button. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and change the text of our submit button. And I'm going to change this to um, just going to call this submit. Or you can even call it contact us. But it's better just to call it submit. And then you can make the you can adjust the sizing of this from small to large. But to be honest, guys, this isn't really important. You can do this all within the style. You can make the bun larger um, and then you can also align it. I'm going to align it to the middle. You can even make it full width, as you can tell from there. Um, but I'm just going to align it to the middle. And then we also have some additional options here so we can also customize the name of each field. So um, I'm going to go ahead and actually just um, start customizing my placeholder um, text. So I'm going to put name um, right here. I'm just going to put uh, phone number. And then right here I can put, let's see, on my placeholder I'm going to put, yeah, you know what, that's fine. That actually works as well. Email is fine. Subject is fine. Uh, that's the email right here. I'm just going to put email. There we go. And that's looking good. And then you can also add some additional button um, message. So just in case they don't fill it up properly, um, you can add a little note right there if you want to add some instructions, but that's entirely up to you. And then you can add a captcha as well. Now, if you're not sure about adding captchas, uh, you can definitely make a video on that. Just go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Um, and then I'm going to go to style and that's probably the most important part is just styling everything. 
So um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go back into content and then I'm going to go ahead and remove my labels. I don't want any of my labels. I think just having not having labels looks a lot more clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just have it just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and space these out a bit. And then I'm going to go into my field here. And then I'm going to I'm going to leave it as is for my text color. Um, and then I'm going to adjust my background color. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit gray here. Now we're just going to find the right gray. Uh, I think that's good there. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust my border color. So I'm going to add a border and then I'm going to go to my color. And I'm going to bring it right over here. As you can tell right now, you can't see the border, but I'm just going to add, I'm going to bring this down a little bit so then you can kind of see the border just a little bit. There we go. And it just, just kind of, just kind of makes it more defined. Um, so I think that's looking great there. And then I'm going to add a radius to, to my edges of my field. So I'm going to do about 10. And as you can tell, that added, um, that added, uh, that uh, sorry, that made my uh, my edges a lot slimmer. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and now work on. Now you can actually add a shadow to this if you wanted to, um, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. Definitely don't think that looks that great, but it might work for you. But that is entirely up to you. Now I can make the text color of my um, of my fields here. I can make that blue. I wanted to let me just go ahead and actually you know what it's my it's gonna be my placeholder here now I can make that blue that actually kind of goes to my website so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that as is now that can just be your preference um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my bun here now I'm gonna make my bun padding a lot bigger than this so I'm gonna go ahead and do about 30 from uh, let's actually make sure it's selected on all of them. So I'm gonna do about 20, and then I'm gonna go ahead and unselect this. And then from the from the left, I'm gonna do about 50, and from the right, I'm gonna do about 50 as well. And then I'm just gonna adjust the typography of this, and I'm gonna make the text a little more bold, and I'm gonna make the text bigger as well. And then I'm gonna adjust the color. So I'm gonna click on this background type, and then I'm gonna make this into a blue color, just so then it goes to my website. Now the text, as you can tell, actually, it needs to be a little more slimmer so then it actually goes with my website. So that's looking good there. Okay. Okay. Now, something that you can do that automatically makes your form more defined. Um, actually, you know what, before I get into that, let me go ahead and mobile optimize this real quick. So, okay, so it looks good on tablet and see how it looks on mobile and it looks good on mobile as well so that looks perfect now one thing you can do to define all this now this is just a preference of mine um what you can do is go ahead and click on your um on your column here and then go to advance actually sorry go to style now this is just an optional um if you like how it looks already then don't even worry about this and then you can go ahead and um, actually from here, go to your border and then go ahead and add a background um, shadow to this. And then just go ahead and click on your color here and then bring this down a bit so then it's not, so then you don't see the shadow that much. And you can even do a bluish color, which actually might not look that bad either. But depends on your preference of your website. I would probably just do black because that kind of goes with it as well. Um, and then we just got to add some uh, padding to this and maybe smooth out the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the edges by 10 here. There we go. And then I'm going to go into advance and from the padding here, I'm going to go ahead and add about 20. Uh, now let's actually select everything and maybe do 30. That actually maybe even 50 might look good. Well, definitely not that. Let's go ahead and fix that 50. There we go. Now that's looking great as well. Now that's just uh, one of my preferences that you can do as well. I've done this in the past and it definitely looks good. Um, what I would suggest doing is maybe having another section here and then having like, here, let me go ahead and bring this over. 
and then go ahead and go ahead and adjust this width here and then maybe add something over here maybe add like some some uh, contact information here add um let me show you guys real quick what i would do add add your uh icon list and then maybe bring this down to the middle and then what i would do is just um add maybe a phone here just add your add all the uh all your uh contact icons here so i'm just going to do a phone for now and then the other one can be an envelope for the email and i think you'll kind of get the the gist of it um and then just go ahead and adjust your icon and then this color of um your text here so then you can just go ahead and do this i would actually make this make these uh let's see if you can go to icon there we go and then just make this icon a lot bigger and then make your text a lot bigger and then just space it out a bit as well so go to your list and then just space this all out and then you can just add all your contact information on this side um this one would probably be an envelope icon and then this one would just be an office icon and then you can put your address and the email above right there and then you can just have maybe a title uh above this or something like that so that is just um yeah that's just something optional that you can do i did forget to mention guys uh you're probably wondering well where are my emails going to go to so i'm going to go ahead and save this for now and then go to your dashboard and then go into um element pack light and then go into api settings and then here you can add your captcha information so you can add a captcha to your form and then over here is the most important part this is where you're going to be receiving your emails um, whenever people opt into your contact form so you can go ahead and you can go ahead and add your email in here and then save it and then whenever someone submits a form the, the information is going to be sent to your email that you added here and that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did see this part and if you did find this video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.